Todd. Hey, hey. What you doing? I am mocking up a front end on the Mini Cooper. Oh. So now that we got the, the front end here, uh, the rear end, we kind of know what we're doing with that. Uh, we're using a lot of what's in place back there already, so I don't, I don't think, I really don't feel like I need to mock up the rear end, but the front end I definitely do. Yeah. It'd be nice to see that honking front axle sitting out in front of it. <laughs> it's going to change the character of the whole thing. It is. So yeah. this morning I, I lopped off um, most of what was up here already. I still got some of this ABS stuff to take out before I lop off the rest of it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to I'm going to cut on some wood here and uh, try to get some angles mm -hmm. um, and figure out what I'm doing. I'm picking up metal next Friday um, mm -hmm. for the chassis. So if I got it all done up, then it's just a matter of bringing the metal back, cutting it, and going I love it. it. I think so, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Just trying to figure out now, you know, where I want to do everything. Mm -hmm. um, I like it. So yeah, so that's the game plan this morning. Okay. Some power tools. Okay. So, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. And then we got stuff this afternoon we're doing with the ladies. Yes. So. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. So what we're doing here is we're build, building a Mini Cooper mock-up. And obviously we're using nothing but the most realistic of materials. You know, even though this isn't a radiator, it actually almost makes, because a lot of radiators have that slant. Almost a radiator. In other words, if we, if we had a, maybe a couple more two bys or something to stick under that where it would raise it up a little bit. You could almost say <clears throat> you are living dangerous there, buddy. Oh yeah. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Next time throw up a smoke signal before you disrupt the whole caboose there. <laughs> get the railroad, get the train engineer involved in your madness. You say. So a little bit there. Take this piece. Here, you hold the camera. All right. This piece. That's definitely a radiator. So much. Uh, here, pick it up just a little bit. I no, set it down. No, wrong way. Dang it! I guess not. What if we do this? Oh, oh, oh! And now we can uh, we put our radius rods like here, and our other fake radius rod. get down here and you look at it from this angle you use your imagination and but also you want to walk back here and imagine it like you're at the back of the car and you see the front wheel sticking out like that see this is a look right from here you got to come over here and see this see if I can get it from this side oh yeah baby See, that's, that's, that says rat rod. Yes. Right there. Now, I need some wheels. Yeah. Good not that this is centered right now. But. You want to drive to Georgia? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we need to, we need them wheels and tires because uh, they're going to, they fit right on everything you got here. And, but I mean, yeah, we're getting there. Now, if you think about on your radius rods, where this wheel turns, you don't want the wheel, the tire, to hit the radius rod. So, you know, you you gotta kind of, as you're designing it, keep that in mind. 
And Dale's got a, a video with a great picture of him designing the little radius rod brackets, you know, to make, to go out here.